If there's one subject in the world of transport in London that piques everybody's interest, it's abandoned and disused tube stations. This is Albridge, probably one of London's best known disused tube stations. But if I was to say to you how many abandoned tube stations are there, what would the answer be? The answer is not straightforward, because it depends on how you classify a former tube station. But I'll do my best here to try and make sense of it all. First up, there are stations where the surface building and all the platforms have a proper abandoned feel to them, i.e. they're still there but not in use. This would include Albridge, as well as a few others on the Piccadilly line, including Brompton Road and Down Street. There's also Marlborough Road on the Metropolitan line and South Kentish Town on the Northern line. These are still very visibly old abandoned tube stations that you can still see today. If you count up all these on the tube map, there are 14 of these on the network. Then there are stations where there is often no clue that a station used to be there, but there are disused platforms that may or may not be visible if you know where to look for them. The original King's Cross station is a great example, as well as the abandoned Piccadilly line platforms at Holborn where trains used to run to Aldwych. If you count all these up on a tube map, there are eight of these on the network. Then there are those completely demolished stations where there's either nothing or close to little nothing left to see, no remains at all that a station used to be there. Wood Lane on the Central Line is a great example of this, along with Hounslow Town, the site of which is now a bus station. If you count up all these on the tube map, there are 10 of these on the network. Then there are what we'll call replace stations, that is, a previous station used to exist or very near to the modern day station which replaced it, and you'd have no idea that a current station had had a former iteration of itself. Ells Court, for example, where it is now, is on the other side of the road to where the original station used to be. Preston Road and Stockwell Tube are also examples of this. And if you count up those, there are eight of those on the network. Finally, there's a lot of stations on the Tube where there's a former station building that is no longer in use because a newer one was built. But the actual station is still in use today with the same platforms, just with that new entrance. Fulham Broadway is an excellent example of this, along with Knightsbridge and Hyde Park Corner 2 on the Piccadilly line. If you count these up, there are nine of these on the network. So the answer is 49, except it's not, because the Northern City Line used to be part of the Northern Line, the East London Line, seven stations there, that's now part of the Overground, used to be Tube. The District used to go further east and west, stations there, and don't forget the Metropolitan Line used to go way beyond Amersham as well. Are those all technically abandoned Tube stations? And also, the Bakerloo Line used to go all the way up to Watford Junction. Again, that's now Overground, but those stations that are in use, are they technically disused Tube stations? That's why the answer is always open to interpretation.